In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to check any com used computer that you're buying for liquid damage. You can use uh, both visual and physical check. This works best if the computer is of a lighter color, if it was a MacBook or something that is uh, white in color. You can just begin by going to the keyboard. Usually people will get their computer damaged uh, while they're using it. Maybe a soda spill, a coffee spill, a water spill. So begin with a physical check. Just check in between the keyboard keys look for any signs of a dried up water dried up soda dried up coffee just go and check in between the keys if you see any evidence of that that means that the computer has been exposed to liquid damage might be coffee or soda or water it looks like this particular unit is pretty clean there are no visible signs of dried up water, coffee or soda. After you have done this, the second step that you, you take is start testing the keys one by one. If you feel resistance when you press the key, if it doesn't pop right back up, it means that the computer has been exposed to liquid damage. So start by pressing the top keys will start with the escape just get a feel of it if you feel that it's sticky then there might be an issue it might still work but the keyboard is probably damaged or maybe the water seeped into the logic board or the motherboard and it will stop working at some point so you want to stay away from machines such as that computers such as that do not buy that unless if you are a tech person and you know the risk involved and you're going to be able to change the keyboard by yourself or to change the logic board so again the first thing you want to do is to inspect the computer for any signs of water or liquid that is dried up in between the keys and if you see that you can choose to either go ahead with the purchase or cancel the purchase tell the seller that this particular machine has been exposed to uh, liquid damage and so you're no longer interested that is going to be your your decision to make thought that might be some water there but yeah so again a check for physical check for visual damage if you see any water we use residue of water or coffee and after that just set, get a feel of the keys usually when you are pressing the keys should pop back up freely when you go like that you should they should pop back up very freely if if very freely if you feel is there they're sticking then there is an issue it looks like these keys on this particular machine are all very responsive they are popping right back up so maybe you can type A, B, C up to Z and then after that you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 because these are like the most important keys. So if 